Hey, my name is Daniel, and this evening I want to do a little review on a bike rack I purchased recently. It's a Rocky Mounts split rail um, bicycle rack. It is not the LS, which is the newer model. This was a model made back in 2016. There's um, only a few differences in the, the LS and the older model. The main differences in the LS deal with some improvements they made to the connection of the hitch to make it a little more stable so that it doesn't rock. Um, I knew when I was buying this that I was buying the one that didn't have that and I had plans for that. I've taken care of that. Um, just a second, I'll be turning the camera around showing you the Rocky Mountain split rail. And um, you'll notice that I have it mounted on the front of my truck. It may seem weird to you. Um, we have a fifth wheel and so carrying it on the back of the truck is not an option. And we didn't want to put it on the back of the fifth wheel. We've just seen too many things happen. There's a lot of motion on the back of a fifth wheel or a travel trailer. And um, so we felt a lot more comfortable having the bikes up front where we can see them. A um, little bit of a distraction. Uh, we've got some ideas to take care of some of that. But uh, right now it's working out really well. We only use it for short trips. And um, so um, without any further ado, I'll turn the camera around and you can see how we have the Rocky Mountain split rail mounted to our truck. Uh, as, I, as I turn around, I'm gonna go over a few of the features that we like and then one of the features that we really don't like at all and it's, it is a major feature. Um, it's a major uh, problem with this bike rack, but it's one that we found a solution to and maybe you have this bike rack, you're having the same problem and um, maybe that solution will help you out too. Okay, so here you see our Rocky Mount split rail uh, mounted to the front of our truck. We really do like the quality of this rack. Um, it's built really well. It's built out of sturdy material. Um, and there's no, no uh, complaints there. Uh, they really do a good job as far as um, the fit and finish and the quality of the build. Um, You've probably seen videos before if you've been looking at Rocky Mountain split rail. Uh, one handle, easy release to pull down. And when you hear that click, it's locked. It's locked into position and you're ready to start loading bikes. Uh, you can see our front mount um, on the position so that we can carry our fifth wheel um, conveniently. Uh, so what I'm going to do, you may see a little something there on the, the right hand side of the split, rock, split mount, I'm sorry, split rail, and you're maybe asking what that is, and that's something I'm going to talk about in a minute. It has to deal with the shortcomings of the Rocky Mountain split rail. Um, after we got this uh, bike rack, we started using it, and one of the things that we found out is one of the major deficits on this is this wheel chalk. Some people call it a wheel stop, a wheel stay. It's, it's named different things depending on who you're talking to. But not all bikes, but for some bikes, that wheel stay is not tall enough. Uh, for my wife's bike, it's fine. We both have 27 and a half inch wheels. Her wheels are a little narrower. I'm not sure why, but when you put it into the rack, you swing the arm up and you can chalk you can cinch it down and you can cinch it down without this hook touching her fork and it keeps the bike just fine on the other hand I have a mountain bike um, one of the other reasons why we went with this the split rail is because of the the weight capacity I didn't talk about that before but it has a 60 pound weight capacity per bike and we both have e-bikes and um, so both our bikes are in the 50 pound range well within the specs on the, the Rocky Mount but some of the other bikes racks that we looked at it was borderline so we didn't want a chance at carrying expensive bikes so with my bike rack I'm sorry with my bike um, I've been getting damaged because the only way that I can effectively carry the bike and cinch it down is the only the only place on the tire where I can cinch it down so it doesn't ride up and roll over this wheel stay is touching the fork bad idea horrible um, for your bike you can see what it did to my fork um, it's 
um, just a design flaw. I mean, it's just not big enough to hold um, large profile tires. So um, we loved everything else about the rack. I called Rocky Mounts to to talk to him about the situation because I had an idea in my mind uh, about how I could fix it. And the gentleman on the phone really didn't want. I don't know if he was having a bad day or if he just um, there is their policy to be a little curt and rude. But um, I talked to the gentleman about uh, how we might be able to correct it. He didn't really even get let me get it out of my mouth. He said, "If you if you have a problem, take a picture, take a video, and send it in." And that's pretty much where he left it. Didn't want to talk at all. So because he suggested I do a video, this is that video that he suggested I do. Um, and I just decided to go ahead and make the the um, changes that I was talking about because we like the quality of everything else about the bike rack. I felt like I could make this the bike rack that Rocky Mount should have made to begin with. Um, and so here's the um, what I have done to come up with a way to alleviate the tire uh, riding up. This tire stay is actually a Rocky Mount product. It's, um, it's a replacement for their monorail wheel stay and um, I just bought some different hardware offline, um, put it on today and I'm really really happy with it. Super happy. Now when I put my tire into this stay it's not going to go over that stay. It folds down neatly so that it's not um, uh, in the way. I'm going, I am going to have to come up with some kind of stay to keep it from moving around. You know some kind of a strap. Haven't done that yet because I just finished the project a couple hours ago. But um, yeah, so that's that's what we've done here with the Rocky Mounts stay. Um, I'm going to put the camera down now. I'm going to shoot a little bit of footage of how the, the tire rocks over the old stay. If you have one of these, you know what I'm talking about. And, and then I'm going to put the bike in the, um, in the new stay and let you see how that works. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to do that right now. All right, Rocky Mouse does have some pretty cool stuff. Um, their straps, not not the best straps in the world because the tire is so low in here, it doesn't really hold firm, but it does hold it. I like this idea here with the strap to hold this back. Um, with the arms folding down flat, it's pretty easy to um, put a bike in the rack. My bike. Uh, without the battery, I've got the battery out right now, which weighs about 10 pounds. I'm about 30 pounds, and um, so not too hard to put in. Now, just gonna put this into place, kind of hold it in place. I'm gonna go ahead and put the um, the strap. So. You can see that the strap holds it pretty good, but it would be better if there was, if this wasn't so deep. Uh, the strap would hold better. All right, so this is where Rocky Mount says that this should be um, put. It should be put on the crown of the tire. I've got it cinched down pretty good. I mean, that's pretty good. And you can see that as this rolls, it's rolling right up over that right up over that stay. And every time I rolled, this bike is coming in contact with my fork. Every single time. I can move it out here, it actually gets worse. So if I was to take it here, that actually is worse. You know, if it wasn't for the back strap, this bike would be rolling completely off. And so, just not a good design. Not a good design, Rocky Mounts. Um, so now I'm going to uh, move the bike over. 
reposition the camera here, hopefully get a good angle. And um, I'm going to move the bike over to the to the new side. Um, with my new design, all you do is flip it up. Same thing, you bring your, your arm forward, bike goes in, alright now I haven't really even cinched it down yet and I haven't even cinched it down and you can see it's not going anywhere alright I'm nowhere near my fork cinched that thing down and now that's the way it needs to be Rocky Mouse um, it may not necessarily have to be this tall when you're redesigning this but, uh, but you've already got this part designed you've already got it in inventory um, so that's my review on the Rocky Mounts split rail bike rack. Um, overall, the quality is good. With this new modification, I'm extremely happy with the Rocky Mounts bike rack. This will be a bike rack that will last a long time, and it'll take the weight of our electric bikes no problem. We won't have to worry about um, bike coming off. So um, that's it. Thanks for watching and um, I hope you learned something.